Bowling right arm over to the right hand that Omid, who edges the first ball. Very fine past second slip. Wouldn't have carried to a... Norwell's in and bowls, and this one comes off the inside edge. Oh, it doesn't. It's gone onto the stumps. He's in, bowls. Full of length and turned into the onside by Stephen Davis. This might even run away for the first boundary of the morning, and it does. Four runs. Rather more likely to squeeze through as Hannah Dolby bowls outside the off stump, and it's cracked away for four by Davis. The first loose delivery that Hannah Dolby has really sent down, and Davis takes a full advantage. Norwell in and bowls to James Rue, cuts that away through the covers for his first boundary of the morning. A nice shot. It was. Uh, Short and wide from Liam Norwell. Here's Liam Norwell bowling a fifth over as well from the pavilion end. Going in edged and does it carry the first slip? It does. A wonderful catch by Rob Yates down of his right hand side. Norwell bustling in again to complete the over. Bowling too straight though and getting whipped away for four by Rue. He's feasted on anything that's been a little bit too straight so far. Bounds away from us, does Norwell, bowls full and Rue whips in the air, back at a square, work for Shake to do in the deep, they can't get there. And the ball runs away for four. Or two, completely over, bowls full and it's driven away by Goldsworthy. Thickish outside edge, but it may run for four towards the backward point fence, it does. <laughs> Shake with another long chase to his left-hand side. Rhodes into Goldsworthy, it's driven wide of uh, diving. This should go down to the boundary for four through extra cover, and it does. It evades Matt Lamb at short extra cover. Yates is in balls to Rue and this is the 100 on the board for Somerset as he slaps that up to long on for a single and it's James Rue's 50 as well. Norwell bowls and Goldsworthy times this well too and that's his 50. 50 to Lewis Goldsworthy from 71 deliveries with five fours. And the sunshine is trying to peek through. Here is Rob Yates continuing at the city end, and he gets slog swept by James Rue all the way over six. Cleared his front leg, swung cleanly through the line. Bowling to Lewis Goldsworthy, who's on 99. Rhodes is in and bowls, and this is turned up to long on, and that is Lewis Goldsworthy's century. His maiden first class, sorry, his maiden list A century. He takes off his helmet, lifts his bat to acknowledge the applause all around. It's going to be Goldsworth who's on strike as this Rob Yates Gone. has got a wicket. He's uh, having talked all that. He, Goldsworth, he goes to pull this one away. Dolby to Rue on 96. He dresses in the air and he's caught. He's gone for 96. He is caught at short third man by George Garrett in bowls to him. He whips this away, it could be caught, should be caught, is caught. Away out on the deep backward square leg boundary. Right arm over the wicket and Yates four to the first ball, playing towards backward point. And there is no run. And bowls short of a length and gets pulled through mid-wicket. That's a nice start of a ten for Rob Yates. Runs away for four. Really got much better. It's a lovely shot down the ground from uh, Rob Yates. Straight drive. Back up the offside of the pitch, over pitch from uh, Jack Brooks and uh, powerfully driven in bowls. And this is cut away through the offside by Rob Yates and Jack Brooks furious with himself. Goes into Sibley, whips this away through mid-wicket for a fine boundary out towards the holly stand. Full of length on his pads, no one in at mid-wicket. Yates. Short of a length, played away through the offside. That'll probably run away to the boundary for four runs. It does indeed. It's a, it's a faster outfield than it looks here. In the barn stand and the old press box stand. Brooks bowls, this is short, and that is six from Rob Yates. Well, it was right in his arc from uh, Jack Brooks. Aldridge goes in, this is driven in the air. Oh, a tremendous catch at extra cover. What a grab that is. Yates pushing hard at the ball, he was there too soon. As Brooks comes in to complete the over, and Sibley drives to extra cover in his court. It's a lazy one from Dom Sibley. He was there too soon. Goldsworthy in again, floats it up, swept away in the air, and finds the fielder at deep square. It's a tremendous catch. Diving forward, it's Josh Thomas coming forward. It's a great catch. And Shaker's gone for 15. <coughs> This next one, Lamb goes oh, back and gone. He's cut and cut straight to backward point. 
Uh, ball which was a little short outside the off stump and uh, Lamb just cut it straight to George back Scott, point. I think that is. Just to go with his 111 in the Somerset innings, but that's nicked on its way down to fine leg. And George Scott will chase that in vain. Well, not, not in vain. He, oh, well, I'm not sure. The crowd down at the far end think that that's four runs, and I suspect it probably is. Goldsworthy bowls. Brooks lofts this away. It's a big, big hit. Is that a massive blow into the empty spaces of the Eric Holly stand? I'm Alex Winter at Edgbaston, where Warwickshire are in a tense run chase here. They need to beat Somerset to qualify for the knockout stage of the Royal London Cup, and their progress being led by the captain, Will Rose. Just going for half a dozen runs, he's in, and Brooks sweeps in the air, and that has gone all the way for six over mid-wicket. Didn't really cleanly get hold of it, but, uh, Brooks. And Brooks driving pleasantly down and went on. Sharp single attempted. Oh, a shy at the non-striker's end. And a direct hit may have seen a run out. It looked a little ambitious, the single from Brooks. But it does bring him a half century and 53 balls. Still there. As this next one, he goes and just opens the face and runs it down to third man. Deliberate shot and uh, nicely played. He gets the single. In bowls and this one sees the end of Ethan Brooks a wide delivery he was looking to chase it got a top edge went through to Davis behind the stop Scott rolls in right arm over and oh well Smith gives himself some room and heaves one over square leg for six goodness what a stroke that is shuffled his way outside of leg stump cleared the front leg and slog swept one out towards the hover cover to our left hand side Warwick trying to go through this is Peel for LBW and Given. It looked very close, I must say. He's in bowling to Rhodes, who drives it down to Amid. This will just be a single, unless there's a misfield, and there isn't. They're coming back for the second run, and that oh. is Rhodes' who's run out. It's Rhodes who's run out. There was never a second run there. Rhodes hesitated, went a few yards down, down the pitch. In comes Davy, bowls very full, a huge cry for LBW. Given! Davy strikes, Maddie is gone. Now the Bears really struggling. 17 more to win from four balls. An excellent Yorker from Brooks. They're going to go through for the run. And Garrett has run out. Davis on target with the underarm from behind the stumps. Brooks in. Bowls in length. It's swung up into the leg side. Fielder underneath with a deep mid wicket. Takes the catch. And that will do it for Somerset. They've had a torrid campaign in the one-day cup.